Hi guys, so this is another video to sort of um, continue our test of the uh, XOS um, 5.6 that we recently got as an update uh, earlier today. Um, it is evening time uh, and I'm planning to sort of leave work uh, and share the experience of how exactly uh, it will take us from um, the campus to um, my stay um, on this journey. So we've got to pick a um, sort of um, a the destination energy savings. Um, that has been locked in uh, and the expectation is that we could just um, simply um, trigger the car. Night mode activated. Um, Ex-pilot assist cannot help. <clears throat> okay. So. LCC driving X pilot cannot be activated. Pilot cannot be activated. Okay, so I got to just sort of um, pull out first. Still trying to activate, but it's not working. Let's get through this way. Okay, with that, we're able to sort of get through. But it's steering a bit um, work. Not too sure what it's trying to do now. It's um, it's taking a route that I'm not too sure why it's going that way. Um, but anyway, let's sort of um. It seems it's um decided a different route, which is not exactly what I intended. So I got. Got to sort of um, strange. Well, but, um, route remapped. So let's see if we could. Um, it's now in LCC mode. So technically speaking, we don't have capability to see the AI driver in action, even though the route is locked in still in LCC mode maybe 5G signal is not very good so as a result the, um, the car cannot get um, XNGP however we started off with XNGP so it's strange that now uh, XNGP is not able to sort of um, take over um, and It is um driving a bit sluggishly in LCC mode. Uh, it's certainly not going to be able to successfully make um, this um, section of the road. Um, For now. It's asking to take over, so I certainly need to take over. Um, yeah, so that wasn't really confidence assuming. We can activate it again. Once um, I get onto this side road, let's see if it's able to. Well, XNGP now takes over. Let's see how it um, negotiates the main junction. Um, you remember this um, junction if you watch um, my other video, it's a four point intersection uh, and the Expected protocol is always to stop, observe before um, entry. Um, we've not seen that protocol actually being um, adhered to. Hopefully one of these days it will eventually happen. Um, but even in this version of the 5.6.0, uh, it has not actually um, executed that protocol. Um, 
because of the time of um, day uh, being around 7.20 p.m. Uh, it's not very busy, so I was able to sort of let it do um, execute the maneuver. But uh, on, uh, on a busy day, I will certainly be quite um, weary of um, letting it um, kick that turn. Activated outside air circulation. We're coming up to um, sort of um, T junction. Uh, we've got cars that are um, sort of getting into this main road um, from, um, from the right. We've got to see the car sort of um, negotiate with um, those that are turning in. But again, that was um, pretty much a, a smooth sort of sale. There wasn't any challenge. We're following the car in front of us. Um, of course, there is opportunity to sort of overtake on the um, left um, and also on the right. But um, given the lane marking, I guess the car is simply coasting behind um, this um, car in front of us. Hopefully, it will sort of um, have clarity of um, the road to sort of be able to make a lane change either to the right or we are just going to have to follow this car in front of us until we hit the next um, traffic light. Okay, so this car sort of leaves the road for us. Um, let's see how it handles the rest of the journey. Again, this is supposed to be a short journey. Um, it's uh, meant to last maximum 15 to 20 minutes. Um, and just for you to get a perception of, um, again, what the 5.6.0 X pilot is uh, hopefully bringing by way of experience to the um, self-driving capability of the car as I indicated we saw quite uh, a bit of a, an interesting success this morning um, when I effectively was able to get out of the garage um, almost seamless um, compared to prior times that I had tried where the car was simply not able to perceive the right exit um, from parking um, but now we are sort of um, uh, we tested the 5.6 this morning uh, and if you check my uh, my video just before this one you would actually um, be happily you know amazed by the fact that he was able to um, get out of the parking spot even though I had to sort of help bring it out uh, it was effectively able to find the way out of 
the um, the parking spot, uh, and then uh, effectively take us even out of the um, underground parking into the main into the main road. Um, so all that simply happened as um, for the first time for me, uh, given that in the past it had failed multiple times um, to be able to successfully um, find its way out of the underground parking. Um, now we would be testing the scenario where we actually are going to be entering the underground parking. Uh, and normally um, that has also been uh, a fail in most cases. Um, every time we got to sort of the um, entrance of the property, uh, XNG people disengage and not be able to take us to uh, our parking spot. Um, so in this um, this trip, this will be the first time we're using the 5.6.0 um, to test the scenario where we are actually going to be entering the uh, the ground parking. Uh, and hopefully, uh, we are going to um, get a, a successful trial, the first attempt. Hopefully, um, let's see how that uh, that goes. Parking area is in section 8, just ahead. Reply by voice or tap. Sub parking area. There are cars parked on the side of the road. It's able to sort of um, determine that. Um, let's see if it's able to find its way into the other ground parking. Coming up to it. That's the entrance. Well, um, certainly it's not going to be able to get through there because um, it did not negotiate the turn right. And so uh, to avoid <laughs> having to sort of uh, rub against the curb, I will sort of um, reverse uh, and take the turn again. Okay, so yeah, the electronic gate is not able to pick the number plate. Okay, so now we're good. Um, let's see if we can activate from here and successfully. Okay, so we've activated again. Um, let's see if you can take us to our parking spot. So what happened over there was quite interesting because the car actually was able to make a plan, but the plan simply wasn't good. Now, how is it going to share the road with this car? Uh, let's see what it does. Okay. Now I have to urge it on to sort of move. If not, it might take a bit of time and the other guy perhaps would be wondering why am I not moving. Um, so, well, yeah, we were able to reactivate it uh, and it's actually negotiating the underground parking area. We will be parking now. Parking spot has been sort of identified. It's sort of orienting itself right um, with the parking maneuvering. Um, I think that's the parking maneuvering module. That's why you see a brick um, is still happening. You know, I, I spoke about this some time back that there's a disconnect between the different um, scenario management module. That's what I call them, scenario management. So in the case where the car is um, sort of um, 
going to do self packing it needs to switch to that particular module um, to effectively be able to negotiate you know the the, the packing maneuver um, so you don't get a very smooth transition from you know um, AI driver to you know self packing module hopefully that can be fixed in the future where the sim the seamless transition between the two modules um, but what you see is that it, the car comes to a grind and halt with AI driver and then you would notice the handover to um, the self-driving capability or the self-driving module uh, and then the self-driving module then tries to you know complete the self-driving capability um, yeah that's, that's I essentially think you know maybe in this case that was the most optimal way for them to effectively be able to break down the problem space into chunks uh, and address them but there should be an overall you know um, experience governance uh, module that should help smoothen the the handshake between the different modules um, so anyway that was it um, we saw that again for the first time that we were successfully able to um, drive into the packing um, so there's certainly some improvement in perception um, pipeline and then of course perception planning pipeline uh, hopefully it, it will it's certainly going to improve from now on and um, I'll continue to share more videos with you guys in the future so thank you very much talk to you on the next one cheers bye bye